How's it going, folks? Smoking Cigars with Hal and Blind Muddy Slim. I just finished doing a three-part video on how to make money. And I call it How to Make Money, Make Money the Hal and Blind Way. And it was based on an infomercial, uh, Jeff's Secrets on How to Make Money on the Internet. He charges you $39.95 for his videos and stuff. I didn't charge you anything, and I told you the basic secrets. How you can get on eBay or any, any situation and make lots of money. I'm finishing it off the uh, Macanudo. I just did the editing on the on the three-part video. I'm hoping to have some music at the beginning of this video, so hopefully you, you heard lies, lies. Because what we're going to talk about is liars today in this part. Sun's coming out over here, so the lighting's a little weird. Uh, I live in Fairdale, Kentucky. I'm getting ready to move back to Jeffersonville, Indiana to be close to my grandkids. And I hope you watch I had a hundred and something people watching the uh, turnaround video of, of uh, my granddaughter Trinity's first birthday. Featuring photos of Trinity and uh, my, my grandson, uh, Logan, who is Dolph 87 on here's son. The song makes me cry because it's so true. Those kids grow up so fast. But I, I need to get back closer to them, so I'm going to move back to Indiana. But anyway, let's talk about liars. My question is, if, let's say your next door neighbor came up to you and said, I'm not going to, uh, I'm trimming my bushes, but I'm not going to ruin your bushes. I promise I won't ruin your bushes. And he purposely ruins your bushes when he, by trimming his and he comes back and he says well I didn't do it on purpose but you know good and well he did because you saw him out there with a grin on his face doing it our two kids are walking in front of your house and they say we're not going to throw eggs at your house and as soon as you turn your back they throw eggs at your house okay and then they come back tomorrow and they say well, we're not going to throw eggs at your house today and they do it anyway. How many times do you listen to someone and believe someone who you know is lying to you or who has lied to you before, before you finally say, wait a minute, these people are lying to me. I am not going to believe them anymore. My, my policy is I will trust you 100% until you lie to me. Once you tell me that first lie, then you're going to have to prove yourself to me for the rest of your life and for the, for the rest of the time that I know you. I am not going to believe a word you say or anything you do. You're just going to have to do it and prove it to me that you're not lying to me. Um, so my question is, when George Bush Sr. said, read my lips, no new taxes. And he lied to us. And he gave us new taxes. Okay? Why did we listen to him after that and hear him say, eh, I had to do it. Eh. But I'm not lying to you about this. I, I will do this. And then he lied to us again. And then when Bill Clinton got in office and he says, I promise you this, I, I, I did not have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. And then we find out that he lied to us. And when he lied to us about uh, taxes, when he lied to us about, uh, oh, what was that one country we invaded uh, under Bill Clinton? I can't remember. But w when a politician lies to us, why in the world do we the American population, the people who vote these people into office supposedly, eh, let's just pretend like the popular vote really counts and not the electoral college. Why do we sit and listen to them and believe them again and again and again and again and again? When George Bush uh, Jr. that's in the White House right now as of November 2nd, 2008, why when he lied to us 
the first time, why did we listen to another lie thinking that was the truth? Why did we listen to the second lie, the third lie, the fourth, the fifth, and on up? Now, are they lying to us because they think, well, the American people are very stupid and they we need to lie to them and tell them what's not really going on to keep them happy and comfortable, uh, which I think is a very elitist, um, snobby attitude. We're an intelligent group of people. I know you're intelligent. You're watching this video. I'm intelligent. I know what's going on. So why are they lying to us to begin with? Is it to cover up some secret some agenda that they have that they really don't want us to know about because it's either going to uh, piss us off because they because uh, I think the bottom line is they know if if they really thought we were stupid, which I think they do, but they know we're not that stupid. They know we're not stupid enough to follow along and 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 do every little thing they want, you know, because basically the attitude of the uh, the elitist. Uh, are, are that, uh, you know, those, they're just workers, they're just drones, they're just people out there who do our bidding for us, uh, uh, um, serve us and, and, and love us because we're smart and we're rich and we know better. I think that's their attitude, but they do know that we're not that stupid. They know, they know that if we knew everything exactly the truth 100% what they had in mind that we're not going to sit back and take it but I don't understand just like uh, Barack Obama let's say if Barack Obama said I'm promising you people a thousand dollars if I'm elected but you know good and well I can't send it to you you're not really going to get it if I'm elected would we vote for him if John McCain came up and said, you know, I would like to tell you that I'm going to do this on taxes. I'm not going to raise taxes. Matter of fact, I'm going to cut taxes across the board for everyone, especially the middle class, uh, the bottom of the rung, the people who can't afford to live. If he said that, but then turned around and said, but in reality... I know that's where the money is. I can't raise taxes on rich people because, you know, they're my buddies. I'm going to have to raise your taxes. Would we vote for him? These people know that we're not that stupid. But what I can only understand is why do we sit and believe their lies over and over and over and over and over again? Why do we believe the media? 